to my channel. Today I am going to do a do it at home balayage, or at least that's what I'm going for. I bought the supplies at Sally's. I'm not going to use box dye. And I'm going for like, I don't want it to be like white blonde, but I want it to be lighter for the summer and I don't want to pay a bunch of money to do it, so I'm going to try to do it by myself. Hopefully it comes out good. Um, I am by no means a hairstylist. I have never gone to school for this. I have never done this before. And I'm only going to show you what I do and whether or not it turns out okay. I am not recommending that you do it by yourself. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to save money by doing it myself. So, these are the products that I bought. I bought L'Oreal Quick Blue. And I just bought... The one in the there's two of them there was a white one and a blue one and i've seen a lot of youtubers want, use this one so i decided this would be best for me and i bought the volume 20 developer i almost bought 30 but the girl at the store said that since my hair isn't that dark i could i could use 20 and that would be better for me and i also got the wella color charm toner in t18 this is supposed to make it neutral because i don't want it to look brassy at all and I also got Shiny Silver Ultra Conditioning Shampoo. And this is this is the color of the shampoo. The bottle is clear. So you can see. Oh, it almost fell out. I think it smells good. It smells pretty good. So I'm going to be using this too because I do not want it to be brassy yellow. I also have a container to mix it in. And I'm going to use the end of this brush. I'm gonna put my gloves on and I'm just gonna use my fingers. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about it and some people use their fingers and some people use the brush but that brush is covered in hair dye from before. It's like a dark color and I don't want to wait for it to dry after I wash it so I'm just gonna use my fingers. And I'm gonna brush my hair out really good. I don't want any tangles. I have pretty thin hair, so I'm hoping it doesn't take very long. I also haven't washed my hair in two days, I think. So it's not clean hair. Everyone I've watched says that you shouldn't do it on clean hair, so I'm just gonna split it at the bottom. And I'm gonna work from the bottom up and then do the sides. So we're gonna do our best. Now that I've got it sectioned off, I'm going to mix it. I'm just going to mix it so that there's no clumps. Here we go. Maybe this far. Okay. I'm going to mark that. I'm just going to hold it with my fingers and then color this part and then I'll blend it up. the worst that could happen, right? By the way, this shirt has already been bleached. Not with hair dye, but with regular bleach. I heard that this action makes it blended. So that's what I'm going to do. just want to make sure it gets really good. I don't want it to look splotchy. I want it to look like a professional did it without having a professional do it. You know what I mean?
So these are the parts that will frame my face. So I'm going to bring them up. This one's going to go just about here, and then these ones are going to go all the way in. and then I'm gonna wash it out with that purple shampoo and then I'll be back to show you how I do the toner this is the toner this is what it looks like I'm just gonna put the rest of what I have in here and then do half of that I'm just gonna use my fingers and drench this bad boy and then Wait until it starts to turn the color that I want. I'm going to start applying it to the top of my head. I'm going to clip this up and then leave it like that for 30 more minutes. And then I'm going to take an official shower and get ready and I will show you guys the end results. So this is it. This is the final result. It's not, that's Mia talking in the background. It's a toy. Don't eat it. She's playing with Play-Doh for the first time. Yeah. So this is the final result. I came out in the sun to show you guys in natural lighting what it looks like. I think whenever I put the toner all over my head it toned the the parts that I had colored like two months ago and so it all looks kind of like the same color unless you pick it up I don't know I can't really tell if you can tell or not but I like it I think it's way better than the color that I had before if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below what kind of videos you want to see next time and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching